Everyone's having a blessed Sunday. So today, um, I'm doing a, just a small haul, and a plant haul, and I'm going to go ahead and go over my plants that um, are plain and uh, variegated plants that look similar, but they're total different plants. So anyhow, um, I did a, just a small plant haul. I got um, this Santaveria trifesa bird's nest. Um, this one was so pretty, and um, she had this big old pup. Now, I do have two little baby ones like this that are very little, little babies, but they're so cute too. But um, this one was bigger, and I went ahead and got her, and she's fully matured i believe you know I'll, they're gonna she's gonna do a spread out more but she had the baby so i went ahead and got her so this is a santaveria bird's nest um santaveria bird's nest or santaveria trifesa hanna um and so this is one of the hanna uh collections so yeah so i like her i went and got me some more of these bowls the terracotta bowls and i put her in this one so let me go ahead and show you the next plant I got. And I spent actually eight bucks on her. And she was just so healthy. And look at that. The colors in her, like, just too beautiful. And this is just perfect. I love her. Um, I saw her and I was like, oh, yeah, I need her. <laughs> so um, as you know, I'm a big Sansevieria lover. So, yeah, so that's that. I got her for, like, $8. Next, I got this lovely little pretty girl, and she is a Stramanti All Green. Uh, it's the it's Stramanti Sanguinea. I can never pronounce right, but um, that's what this plant is called. Um, so it's it's S T O M A N T H E S A N G U I N E A. And it's a st stamanti thee. Um, and she's part of the Maranta family. So she folds up. Her leaves are underside. And she's all green. So they. Um, that's why I am I got her. So she's going to kick off the beginning of the plants that look the same, name the same, and really... Um, there's a thing called sport of fam of plants. Um, they call it sport. Uh, basically, what they do, if I'm not mistaken, um, they get the plant. Uh, they use a plant, and then it's kind of like they're messing with the uh, plants, coloring and. Um, you know, uh, they it basically ends up t changing the color. So, okay, in Botania, a sport or a bud sport traditionally called lucis is a part of the plant that shows morphological differences from the rest of the plant. Sports may differ by foliage, shape, color, flowers, fruit, or bit branch. Um, and so basically, they're, uh, that's why you see some plants, they look the same, but they're, you know, uh, different colors. Um, they're, the characteristics, uh, so it says, sports with desirable characteristics are often propagated very vegetatively to form new cultivars. That retain the characteristics of the new of the new morphologically, such selections are often prone to reversion. So you know you have the uh, so let me go ahead and show. So this is the Stramanti tricolor um, or the ginger. You see how she has different colors. She still has the underside, the purple underside like this one. But, um, and I believe a lot of people get this one, which this one's more rarer to get than this one. You can see this one everywhere. Um, but it, and it's hard to find any information on this one. 
And that's because this is a sport. Uh, this is actually the sport of this. So, um, you know, that's, they basically put in different colors to make a new cultivar. And so, um, sometimes you'll see plants reverting back to their original color, which if she reverted back, she'd go back to this, which I doubt because this one has a lot of variegation. But, um, so this is the start of the, so she's a plain all green, even though she, I believe the, uh, I, in my, you know, thoughts, I believe variegated plants have to have it hard because they have to struggle to keep that variegation versus an all green, a plant that just is green, you know, and yeah, it's got the purple undersides, but her leaves, she don't got to struggle as much as this big pretty girl, even though she's growing beautiful and she got repotted in a, a terracotta I think all my plants think they're Sansevierias. I know it sounds funny, but I think I say I love Sansevierias so much because they act like they all wanted terracotta. It's anyway. So anyhow, there's the two that look the same. You know, now you see in, I don't know if anyone's heard of the sport and it's really S-P-O-R-T like, you know, sport. Um, and I'll show you another uh, so I'm going to show you the next plants, which is also a sport. Now we have the philodendron Rio, which she has the silver, cream, and green in her very uh, in her in this plant. So those are the mi that's the mixture of her. She has, you know, these different colors, as you'll see. Um, then when I show you the Brazil, which, so a Rio is definitely a sport of the Brazil. Now the Brazil you see has more of a lime color. And when you put them next to each other, they do look the same, but there's total different colors in the Brazil and the Rio. Um, the leaves even, you know, are shaped the same, but um, they're total different plants. Well, they're both, they actually call this philodendron Brazil Rio. And it's a sport of the philodendron Brazil. So as you see, the Brazil has lime green and green versus this one has the lime green, cream, and uh, silver in her leaves. And here's another philodendron Brazil that has more lime in the uh, leaves. But she is definitely a Brazil. So this is a perfect also... Thing to look at as far as a sport goes. Um, this is a sport of the Brazil. That's why it looks the same, but when you look closer, they're two different, you know, the colors are different. The variegation in the colors are totally different. Um, and no matter, you know, the, you'll see some of the philodendrons um, Brazil mixed in, you know, with the lime green which um, I have a lime green philodendron as well. And um, as you see, this one has, this one's just a lime green color. Uh, and then this is the Brazil. So the leaves on the lime green color of the, um, of the philodendron, uh, this is called the neon philodendron. Um, but you see it has a little bit of this color in it. Which brings me to another plant. Just one moment. Now these are not sports because this is a neon pothos. And this is another one. This is just a cutting of a neon pothos. And then this is the neon Hartley philodendron, which at a glance, 
they all look the same. Uh, this is a larger um, philodendron, which I put her on a trellis because her vines were growing so long, but she actually likes it. Um, you know, I went ahead and just, I got this trellis at the 99 cent store and I just trailed her leaves around it. And um, so, yeah, so if you look, this is a philodendron, which they're all in the uh, same family. I believe they're all called um, aeroids, aeroids, because they have the, um, you know, the little uh, aerial roots. Uh, so the neon pothos and the neon philodendron both look the same, but these ones are not uh, sports. They just, this is a, you know, sport, uh, they're their own sports because there's an all green philodendron. And then, um, and then you see, this is the neon philodendron and it has some green mixed in and it kind of resembles a Brazil leaf. But, um, that I believe the neon, I'm sorry, the Brazil is a sport. Maybe that may be a sport of a mixture of this and the all green uh, philodendron, Hartley philodendron. But um, yeah, so these two look the same, but this is a pothos, a neon pothos, and then this is a neon philodendron which when it starts maturing and getting older, the leaves turn more of a, a, you know, like a darker green color, not a darker green, more of a lime uh, green or neon green. And it's more actually more uh, actually neon when they're, they grow the new leaves and then the older leaves are more of a lime because this is more of a lime color versus this is a neon bright color. It, but the pothos, pretty much this one stays more brighter, but it the new leaves do come out as a more neon. And then theirs also kind of goes down to a lime green color. So these two uh, are in the same family though, but they're, this is a philodendron and this is the pothos. So you can see they're both the same. And if you want, you know, this is just an idea to throw in. Uh, and it's space saving uh, because now I have her, she was hanging over and it was blocking some sun. So now she's able to trail over this. And this is just an experiment. Um, I'll do an update on her. We'll see what ends up happening. But this is an experiment I'm doing anyways. And uh, I figured I'd try it out and we'll see where it goes. But I think she's pretty happy, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, so these two are also, you know, at a glance, looks the same, but they're two different plants. So the next plants are, are these beauties. Now, these are all potho plants. Um, so I was sold... This one was sold to me as Marble Queen. Such a beauty. And this one was sold to me as Snow Queen. Which is a beauty. But if you look, these two are pretty much the same. Snow Queen and Marble Queen are pretty much the same. Uh, there's no difference in their leaves, shapes. The colors are the same, um, the variegation, you know, uh, everything's pretty much the same of this. Now, when you look at this one, this is an Enjoy Pothos. If you glance, you know, you may, unless you really know plants, but this is a total different plant. This has white and green variegation, they're, they're Pothos but total different green, a uh, total different plant. Now, if I put this one right here, which is also sold a lot of times as 
the uh, Marble Queen, or it's sold as Pearls and Jade, uh, which this, I believe, is a sport of this one and the all green um, pothos. But this one, her leaves are more heart shaped and she has silver, which kind of resembles this one. So sometimes these even get mistaken for the same because their leaves, her leaves are a little bit more rounder. They're more heart shaped, actually. Now, this was sold to me as pearls and jade, but um, this is a mixture because pearls and jade doesn't have the silver in it. The Mongolia does, but not the pearls and jade. So, um, they, if you go on Contra Costa, um, let's see, uh, Contra Costa, if you go on to Contra Costa, they, they're pretty good at, um, showing and, you know, giving you information about houseplants. But they have pictures, they have an actual picture with the, um, so Manjula Pothos. So yeah, if you go to Coster Farms, they have a leaf pictures, uh, I'll show you. So this is uh, a Potheria of Pothos variety. And as you see, it has the Marble Queen, Neon, the Sea Blue Blue, the Enjoy. Uh, these are really the variegation, different ones versus the Jade and the uh, the Jade and the regular, uh, the Golden Pothos. So if you see this, so this one here is labeled as Golden Pothos because the gold and the variegation. This one right here is Marble Queen which is this pretty girl right here. So with the, if you look here, and then this is the neon, which I just showed you. This one right here is sold as Jacenia Pothos, which you could actually see some of these mixed in with that, but I believe the whole plant looks like this and it says this one has more uh, green heart shaped leaves abundantly marked with characteristics like the Marble Queen and the Jacinta is quite similar. Early leaf will different. It's usually not too hard to tell the difference. Then you have the Manjula Pothos, which this one is the Manjula. Um, if you see how this has a bit of silver in the leaves as well and they're heart shaped but this one has silver in the leaves and um this was sold as pearls and jade but it's actually m-a-n jula pothos and if you look right here here's the picture of the leaf these two are the same so there's that this is the menjula uh, Manjula Pothos is another pat pat patinate variety, which patinate I believe is almost like the sport because uh, Santavarius have patinate, and really I think it's uh, P A T E N T E D. Uh, it's once again, like a sport, it's a mixture. So this is a patented variety uh, produced by the University of Florida. It features wide heart-shaped green, uh, wide heart-shaped green leaves. The foliage is variegated with shades of silver, cream, and white, and light green. Each leaf is different, which, as you see, each leaf, leaf is different. It has its own little style. Now, this is two plants in one. I bought this uh, as a Pearls and Jade at Walmart. I bought two of these, and I went ahead and popped them, cleaned them up, 
they were really, the leaves were all messed up and kind of dirty and rough, you know. So I cleaned it up and um, repotted her and put her, this is like a five or six inch pot, maybe five and a half pot uh, terracotta and then gave her some good fast draining soil. So each leaf d is different. Many leaves will have large patches of green. Others will be heavily fleckled and splashed with manjola. There's a difference. There's a typically not a crisp line between the variegated areas. So the creamy areas tend to have spots or speckles of other colors. Another way to tell manjola apart from other pop those varieties is that the leaves have wavy edges and don't lay as flat as other pothos. And this one does have the wavy edges. And as you see, it's more crinked up. You see how it's curling in like, like this one does have the wavy and versus this one doesn't, the uh, marble queen or snow queen doesn't have that. Um, and for some reason, these ones have the ends I think it's from too much salt in the water. I don't know, but that's the thing about variegated plants. They're very finicky because they have to deal with a lot, you know, to grow, to keep this variegation. So, um, so the manjula, apart from other pothos varieties, is the leaves that have wavy edges and don't lay as flat as other pothos. <coughs> now, they have this picture under pearls and jade which this is actually an enjoy pothos pearls and jade uh emperor imperium pearls and jade is an eye-catching variety that sports green leaves variegated with white and silvery gray so this does have silvery gray but this one is an enjoy and the leaves are a lot smaller than these ones. Um, but it's labeled as uh, pearls and jade on the website and tends to have smaller leaves and some of the other varieties and tends to grow more slowly. So they, so Contra Casta provides uh, Walmart with, their plants if you ever look on the thing you'll see it has that under there or angel something angel plant but um these plants are separate so this is a different plant this is a different plant they're all pothos but if you look you'll think they're all about the same because you see the colors but they're total different. This one has little leaves and she grows with nothing but little leaves. Her leaves are all going to be little. This one has more of a heart shape leaf and it folds in and she's got different variegation. And then this one is the marble queen slash snow queen. And she has, you know, a different variegation on hers as well. So that's these plants, which this is the same. I just... I was sold, once again, this was a Marble Queen. I was sold that. This one I was sold as a Snow Queen, which they're both the same. This was sold Pearls and Jade, and this was sold Enjoy, but this is actually an Enjoy, and this is the Manjula, or Man, M-A-N-J-U-L-A, Pothos. And this one is really pretty. Like, I, you know... So a lot of plants are so mislabeled, um, which, you know, I don't know what that, where that comes from, but, uh, dealing with Santa areas, I know because I deal with a lot of them and, um, I find, I have to search and search because the plant will say something total different. And, um, so all these, now all the plants that I've shown that are variegated, they need bright and direct light because they are variegated. Even the all green Stramanti uh, needs to have bright indirect light. Um, that one is more, that one is more of a, yeah, medium light. These can get bright light, uh, bright indirect light, but I put these even closer than I would put the Stramanti because these ones need, especially the, the one these ones right here because 
I've had a um, Pothos, uh, for instance, right here. This is a Pothos, um, a Marble Queen Pothos, and her leaves are kind of lighter than these ones. And this is because I didn't have her in bright light. So there is still some variegation, but the green is pretty much almost taking it over. Then I put her in some bright light and look at this. So this one's lived in water pretty much all her life um, because the Snow Queen is a more difficult uh, pothos to deal with because they're very finicky for one it's because they want bright light um and they don't want water they think their santa area is also but they don't like water so um really none of the pothos do um they let you know they will let you know when they're ready to get watered because they soften the leaves what i do is i tell a lot of my plants to fill in the touch of the leaves um and that's how i know that they want water because their leaves will be soft and they'll even droop over um the neon does too uh, all pretty much most of all vining plants will do that they'll um you know wilt a little bit uh and to let you know that they need some water and that's really i think the best time to water them because they're telling you they need water so they pretty much like, in other words, I'll tell you when I need some water because otherwise you'll water them and rot them out and it's over for the plant. So, so that's these ones. So let me get the next ones. So here we go with the satin pothos and the silver pothos, which are also, if you go to uh, Contra Costa, so the exotic angel plants is what they call them. Um, these I didn't get from Walmart, which I wish I would because you get them a lot cheaper. I bought these. This one struggles a little bit more. Uh, you got to make sure it's like they're really rooted in there. Um, I had to pull some of this one out, but she's coming along now. So this one right here is called the Satin Pothos, Skindas Skindapsis Pictus. This plant bears beautiful dark green heart-shaped leaves which uh i always say this they're related to the they're philodendrons but somehow they named them pothos but oh well so yeah so this one is the heart-shaped leaves decorated with irregul irregular silver spots it's excellent in a hanging basket or climbing up a moss so if you look at these two once again you know, you just think, oh, this is just a baby plant, but it's not. They're both pretty much cuttings. Uh, this one's a little, this one and this one are almost the same age, we'll say. Except this one's leaves doesn't get as big. Um, this one, that's how you know they're different. But the colors, if you look at them, they kind of look the same, but they're two different. They're both pothos, but they're two different plants. Um now, the silver potho also has satin pothos, also called satin pothos or philodendron tribi. The silver pothos has dark green leaves that abundant silver marking and velvet like sheen. And then they have one that's called this uh, exotic one. Like they have another one of these that they've named all kinds of different names, but to me, they all look the same, even though it says. It has more silver, but look at this one has more silver on the leaf. So, you know, they just get them all mixed up. But these are another, you know, pothos plant that resembles the same, but they're not. They even feel the same. The texture is even the same. Um, I don't know if these are a sport or not. I haven't really did much uh, look into this one, but I know this one these two feel totally different. Their leaves are thick, thicker than the uh, pot regular pothos. So I don't know what sport they got this from or a, a patent, but I do know if you look at them both, they look the same, but they're not. This one's leaves are way littler, this one, and they're two different ones. So that's those two. Now I have all green, uh, 
plant again, which this is the jade. This is the jade pothos. And then this is an all green heart leaf philodendron, which this is a philodendron. This is the pothos. But if you look at them, you know, you would be able to tell if you really knew plants because you can feel and you should be able to know. Not too many people know the difference, but I see a lot of people make videos and say that this is my pothos, my green uh, pothos. And then this is a pothos. This is a heart leaf philodendron. Two different types of plants. They're both aeroids, but they're um, two different plants. This is a J pothos. The leaves are totally different than a heart leaf philodendron. Uh, so they are the same color. They look the same. They don't, these ones don't have variegation, but I'm basically showing you, you know, how a plain, but they do look the same. Like you wouldn't, if I didn't really know plants, I'd grab either one and, and, and I, or I wouldn't get each one because I'd be like, oh, that's just the same plant. Um, so let me pick which one I want when really in actuality, these are two different plants. So I wouldn't know that if I was in a, you know, greenhouse or a nursery, I would just be like, oh, let me grab this one because it's a little bit bigger. Um, these are the two of the same, but yet yeah, they're not. So that wraps up my video. Um, I just wanted to share this. I thought it was, you know, something different. Um, and it's a little bit informative. Once again, go to the, um, it's called... Actually, not Contra Costa. It's Costa Farms. Sorry. Costa Farms is very informative on a lot of plants. I mean, you can go on there, look up peperomias. You can look up um, the uh, arrowheads, the Maranta family. You know, you can go on there. Some of them are mis- some of, when you get them in the store, they're a little bit mislabeled, but on there, they do show pictures. And as I showed you, and it pretty much goes over the uh, plant's name, the identification. And once you get that, because it's really important to know an ID on a plant, just like uh, these plants. So these are a pothos and a philodendron, right? They're all green. Now... Uh, neon, the marble, and you know, all those uh, variegated plants I showed you are pothos. Yes, they are pothos, but the care is totally different on them than it is on this all green pothos. This all green pothos, you can stick anywhere, just like this all green Hartley philodendron, which I just showed you the Rio and the um, Brazil, and then they also have a which that looks totally different. You can make, you definitely know that's a different plant when you see the Mykins uh, Hartley philodendron. But the care is totally different on all of them. This one, these two, you can stick in very low light and they'll do good. Um, if you want the leaves bigger, you know, but really the jade is, is you could put this, I've moved this all over and she didn't, she doesn't care. Um, the heart leaf, same with this one. They don't need, they're very low light um, plants, not dark room. I wouldn't do that to any plant because, you know, that's just wrong. But uh, they're very low light plants versus the variegated ones. They need total different care. So it's important to know the name of your plant. Um, I'm constantly looking for an ID of a plant because I need to know the correct care on them because... What works for one that looks like it, it may be in the same family, but it may be total different care. Um, so I want to make sure I know the care of it. I want to know how to, uh, you know, what type of light, what type of how to water, all that stuff. Um, the philodendron is also the same and the pothos. One thing, the care is the same of no uh, water less than more. They do not want to be soggy. So thank you so much for watching the video. Hope it wasn't too long and I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope everyone has a blessed week and 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.